Reddit riots, delivery drones, and haptic holograms. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 373 for Friday, July 3rd, 2015. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Braintree. If you're working on a mobile app and searching for a simple payment solution, check out Braintree. With one simple integration, you can offer your customers every way to pay, period. To learn more and for your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash technight. Welcome, I am Megan Aroni. It's just you and me on the beginning of this holiday weekend in the United States. Let's get right to the tech news. Yesterday, just as we were finishing the show, we heard the first wave of rumors from AMA Gate, the clever name for the firing of Victoria Taylor, a communications manager at Reddit. Taylor was the person in charge of running Reddit's popular Ask Me Anything or AMA threads that everyone from Barack Obama to Leo Laporte have participated in. AMAs are exactly what they sound like, a subreddit where a famous person agrees to let the commoners of the internet ask them any question they would like to ask. Now, as is true of all of Reddit, AMAs are expertly moderated in an effort to foster honest and transparent communication while avoiding flame war disasters. These moderators do not have an easy task, and it should be said that they are not paid employees of Reddit. Victoria Taylor was a paid employee of Reddit, and her job was to assist the subject of the AMA and serve as a go-between for the moderators. By all accounts, she was very good at her job. A self-described speed reader, Taylor was able to sift through thousands of questions, decipher and explain Reddit inside jokes, and she was apparently one of the only people at Reddit who appreciated the mods. So when she was let go, an insurrection quickly ensued. Many popular Reddit threads were marked as private as the moderators displayed the power they had over the website. Everyone involved was very, very internet angry. Today, Reddit CEO Ellen Pow took to the site to ease tensions, but she seems to have made things worse. Pow assured everyone that the company is working on better tools for its moderators, but it will be a while before those tools are made available. Pow wrote, the bigger problem is that we haven't helped our moderators with better support after many years of promising to do so, adding we are going to figure this out and fix it. In terrestrial revolt news, Uber has suspended the French ride-sharing service Uberpop as a gesture of peace in the wake of several increasingly violent protests by French taxi drivers. Uber is currently appealing a court decision in France to ban Uberpop, but they've been operating during the appeals process. A representative from the ride-sharing service says the suspension is a result of the riots, not of the legal issues, which they will continue to fight. Forbes reports that the Amazon drone delivery program appears to be imminent. Yesterday, Andrew Edwards, an Amazon video personality, tweeted that Amazon had begun to scan his Seattle backyard for prime air drone delivery next week. An Amazon spokesperson declined to comment to Forbes. Coming up, an update on the plane powered by the sun and MasterCard wants you to use your selfie as your password. But first, this episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Braintree. Let's talk about mobile payments. If your mobile app needs a way to accept them, try Braintree. Braintree is the payment solution used by companies like Uber, Airbnb, Hotel Tonight, Living Social, and Munchery. If you've ever had trouble with the payment experience in any of these apps, you probably have not, and that's because Braintree has made the payment experience seamless and magical, and now you can add a similar experience to your own app. With excellent customer service and simple integration, Braintree gets you ready to receive payments quickly, and Braintree's continuous support plus fast payouts means you'll be prepared as your company grows from your first dollar to your billionth. Braintree is helping solve the problem of mobile cart abandonment by offering a best-in-class mobile checkout experience. Check it out for yourself. Braintree gives you a full-stack payment solution, support for all payment types your customers might want. So start accepting PayPal, Apple Pay, Bitcoin, Venmo, cards, and more, all with a single integration across all platforms with superior fraud protection, customer service, and fast payouts. To learn more and for your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash technight. Now on to a few more stories we're following today. Earlier this week, we told you about a solar-powered plane that had taken off from Japan and was headed on a five-day record-breaking flight to Hawaii. The plane landed safely on the Hawaiian island of Oahu today. The Solar Impulse 2 completed the 4,000-mile 
leg powered only by the sun. This is also the longest nonstop solo flight in history. The pilot, Andre Borschberg, was unable to stand during the flight and only occasionally rested with 20-minute naps. Two pilots are attempting to fly the Solar Impulse 2 around the globe, trading off legs of the journey. This was the most dangerous leg because there was nowhere to land if something went wrong. Credit company MasterCard has told CNN that they think you want to pay for things with your selfie. MasterCard is launching a small pilot program to replace passwords with facial scans. So take a selfie to prove that you're you. The beta will be limited to 500 customers, and MasterCard says they'll release it publicly once they work out all the kinks. Popular Mechanics says that a group of Japanese researchers have created holograms that you can touch and feel. These so-called fairy lights can be programmed to change shape and form when you touch them. The femtosecond laser, which is safer to touch than the nanosecond laser, uses spatial light modulation to control the strength of the light pulses emitted. I'm not sure exactly what all that means, but I do know that it looks very cool. Viewer Dana Schwartz sent in the 9 to 5 Mac story that the update to iOS 8.4 that brings Apple Music, Apple has also silently removed home sharing. 9 to 5 Mac says that it's probably due to the fact that Apple Music licensing deals prohibit sharing streamed music over Wi-Fi, even if it's just to share music with other people in your own home. One solution to this problem is to sign up for the Apple Music family plan. That's $14.99 per month. Thank you for the tip, Dana. If you have a story suggestion, send it to TN2 at twit.tv, Megan at twit.tv, or message me on Twitter at Megan Maroney. And finally, photographs of fireworks on social media are usually kind of bleh. They hardly ever compare to the real thing. But video of fireworks taken by a drone, that is another story. The Verge collected a few different drone videos of fireworks in honor of the 4th of July here in the U.S. I would watch them at least for a few minutes, especially the one accompanied by opera music. Ooh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and that is it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash TN2. Write to us at TN2 at twit.tv and watch live every weekday at 4 p.m. Pacific. And of course, don't miss our morning news program, Tech News Today, every weekday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. I am Megan Maroney. Thanks for watching. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Cashfly.com.